Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A subcompact sedan from Volkswagen, the 2018 Santana 1.4 liter MPI manual transmission trendline, and a compact SUV from Hyundai, the 2019 Tucson 2.0D GLS CRDI AT two-wheel drive. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. This week, we have the 2020 GMC Sierra Denali Carbon Pro Edition and the 2019 Mazda CX-30. Plus, a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two subcompact SUVs, the Ford EcoSport 1.0-liter EcoBoost Titanium AT and the MG ZS 1.5 AT Alpha. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held 2019 Shanghai Auto Salon with our friends from Volkswagen Philippines on our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. High performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! Now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast Find what you're waiting for Seven-seater in style All-new El Tiga debut Welcome back to All The Focus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Volkswagen. This car review is all about a car that made many people curious and wondering how it would compete in other models in its segment. It's none other than the Volkswagen Santana, the car maker's newest entry to the subcompact category. Find out here what makes it special and if it lives up to everybody's expectations. Watch this. For this car review, we have the Volkswagen Santana Trendline variant. Let's kick it off with the powertrain of the subcompact. Under the hood of the Volkswagen Santana is a 1.4-liter multi-point injection four-cylinder gasoline engine that is capable of giving out 90 PS of power and 132 Nm meters of torque. These figures are mated to a 5-speed manual transmission which many have noted to be easy to navigate on the road. The suspension is made up of McPherson Independent at the front and Composite Torsion Beam Semi-Independent at the rear. This combination makes up for a quiet cabin when the car is faced with road imperfections. Next up, the exterior and the interior of the Santana. From the look of the Santana, it's undeniable that it is indeed a Volkswagen car. In fact, many have mentioned that the Santana can be compared to the Polo when it comes to its exterior. The front fascia is highlighted by this strong-looking grille and a set of halogen headlights with turn signal lights. Meanwhile, all around the Santana's body are these very prominent character lines, especially the belt line that is similar with the Polos. 
It lags fog lamps at the front, although you would find them at the back. A nice addition to the already great set of exterior features of the Santana. The 14-inch steel with cover wheels further add character to the Santana, especially it powers through the road. The overall look of the Santana clearly did not miss any familiar yet fresh styling cues from the German car maker. Meanwhile, as you step inside the Santana, the first thing you may notice is the fact that it looks neat, probably because it's not at all cluttered. Almost everything is wrapped in hard black plastics. If anything, this detail gives off that Volkswagen touch the car. The seats come with fabric material, so they are comfortable to sit on. The driver's seat is equipped with height adjustment, while both the front and rear seats come with head restraints. The Santana also comes abundant with technologies targeted to make the driver's life easier, like the three-spoke multi-function steering wheel, and central locking with radio remote control among others. When it comes to the infotainment system of the Santana, it doesn't have a very high-tech one, but it does the job nonetheless. The radio comes with AM and FM, with a CD player that can be navigated with SD or USB playback. It's equipped with two speakers. As for safety and security features, the Santana is equipped with anti-lock braking system, dual SRS airbags, and ISOFIX. That was our car review on the latest generation Santana. An offering from Volkswagen that sets the subcompact segment ablaze in its own unique way. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has anti-oxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me, my kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to All the Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Mitsubishi Motors Philippines flew members of the Motoring Media to Palawan for an eco-drive activity featuring the new Strada. 
We came in to Palawan through the Puerto Princesa Airport and going here to San Vicente, it's around 171 kilometers. The drive took us around two and a half hours. A lot of highways and some mountain passing. So there are twisties and zigzags. The scenic view, as well as the road networks in San Vicente, Palawan, made a perfect venue to showcase the features and capabilities of the new strata. We found out that there's a lot of new road networks in Palawan, and because we have experience ng media, the new improvements that we did for the new strata, like it has a refined suspension, bigger brakes, a new six-speed automatic transmission, and of course, siyempre, yung bagong styling sa harap, which is very, very aggressive and attractive. The team also got the chance to drive along the coastline. Well, aside from the test drive that they were able to do from Puerto Princesa to uh, San Vicente, we were the first ones who were allowed to drive by the shore, uh, the coastline. So I think it's a one-of-a-kind experience or a very rare experience. And reaching the end of this uh, coastline, we did some bringing back the environment activity like planting mangroves. And we were also able to swim with the turtles. Uh, when we went to Inaladelan uh, Island. Isuzu Philippines turned over 60 units of its Class 3 PUVs to Metro Comet Transport Service Cooperative as UV Express. Recently, the initial 15 out of the 60 units have been inaugurated for operations. This move is in line with the government's PUV modernization program. Today, we are officially turning over 15 units of Isuzu PUV Class 3 to Metro Comet Transport Cooperative, which will be operating from Kupao to Rodriguez Rizal. Isuzu takes pride in providing them the, their first fleet of modern Isuzu PUVs. According to Isuzu, these Class 3 units can accommodate more passengers compared to Class 2 vehicles. Class 3 is a very special uh, vehicle because uh, Unlike the Class 2, Class 3 is actually a front-facing arrangement. The vehicle that we have right now, where we are right now, can accommodate 23 passengers, all sitting, and it will eventually be replacing the UB Express that have been traveling around the Philippines. So as compared to the existing UB Express, the Class 3 PUB has more generous seating arrangement. The units were assembled with Isuzu's QKR77 platform, which is specifically designed for PUV use. Uh, the modern PUVs are assembled using the Isuzu QKR77 platform, which has been modified specially for PUV use, which body developed by one of the country's leading bodybuilders, Aramazora Motors. These PUVs are environment-friendly, as it complied with the Euro 4 standards, safe as it complies with safety standards and is equipped with speed limiter, old fare correction system, CCTV, GPS and dashboard camera and comfortable and convenient due to generous seat space, headroom and legroom with door entry on the right side. The Used Trucks Rebuilders and Importers Association of the Philippines, or UTRIP, recently held its first ever rebuilt truck show at the Metro Tent in Metrowalk, Pasig City. According to UTRIP, through the event, their goal is to raise awareness on the truck rebuilding industry, which has been around for almost two decades now. The company is also calling on the government to give them their own classification, which is distinct from either a brand new or used units. Our products being lumped as an ordinary second hand, which is, it is not, because our product is being assembled from ground up. Our components comes in completely knocked out in containers. No? Then we assemble and change whatever component and parts that should be changed. Then the product that will sell is, I'd say, perceptibly like brand new. It's like a brand new car coming out of the production line. AutoHub Group has officially launched PaintHub, a quality automotive care facility which specializes in body repairs, restoration, and painting. Situated in a 6,000 square meter compound in 37 Elisco Road, Barangay Kalawaan, Pasig City, it is able to service 400 to 500 automotive vehicles every month. 
According to AutoHub Group, PaintHub is part of their campaign to innovate their body and paint division across all AutoHub brands. AutoFocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios, my drive. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. <laughs> Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's Head to Head, our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. In this Head to Head, we have two of the latest compact SUVs in the market, namely the Ford EcoSport and the MG ZS. These two models may be new in the market, but their respective nameplates go way back and have been around enough to be loved by many. Let's find out here which one is better when it comes to their specs and features. Watch this. Our first stop in this head-to-head -head are two compact SUVs respective engines. Both Ford and MG take pride on the EcoSports and the ZS's powertrains. Let's take a look. The ZS is powered by a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine that gives out 114 horsepower and 115 newton meters of torque. These figures may not be a lot compared to the other crossovers out there, but what makes it stand out is the fact that the engine is naturally aspirated, meaning it is not turbocharged. It's coupled with a 4-speed automatic transmission with manual tiptonic function, which transfers all power to front-wheel drive. When aboard the ZS, you would notice a little bit of vibration, but there's no need to worry as it is handled by the suspension setup of the car, comprised of McPherson struts at the front and torsion beams at the end. On the other hand, under the hood of the EcoSport is a 1.0-liter turbocharged inline-3 EcoBoost unit that is capable of producing 123 horsepower and 170 newton meters of torque. These generous numbers are made into a 6-speed automatic transmission. This engine is the very thing that makes the EcoSport Titanium the top-spec engine in the 2018 EcoSport lineup. The suspension of the EcoSport is almost similar with the ZS. It is made up of McPherson with coil spring at the front, while it uses torsion beam with stabilizers at the rear. It's pretty basic as well, but it does its job when it comes to ensuring that the EcoSport can face any road imperfection. Let's have a tour of the exterior looks of the EcoSport and the ZS. At a glance, you could already tell that the exterior of the ZS is one of its best-selling points. It looks neat and aggressive, and it's attributed to the strong character lines wrapped around its body, plus the front fascia. 
The Stardust Grill, as MG dubbed it because of its pattern, catches anyone's attention together with the brand's logo. The grill is a head turner as well, thanks to the London Eye, halogen headlights that further frame the grill. Moreover, the ZS nods to the MG history through the ZS's 17-inch alloy wheels that has the brand's hexagonal batch design philosophy. Heading over to the EcoSports design, there's no denying that it is a Ford vehicle. Compared to the ZS, there's not much going on with the EcoSports exterior as it retains the same front fascia, grille, and even the fog lights and the headlights of its predecessor. There's nothing new with the rear as well. If anything, the only recognizable changes in the exterior of the newest EcoSport are the unique A pillars which create curves at the bottom. They're obviously positioned to highlight the striking edges of the car's hood, giving it a sporty vibe. It's time to check out the interiors of the ZS and the EcoSport. The attitude and the outside look of the ZS continues on in its interior. It comes off pleasant and straightforward probably because of the dashboard. It is highlighted with circular chrome-trimmed air vents each on both sides. The steering wheel and the seats are wrapped in leather while you can spot high-quality plastic materials on certain areas. Speaking of the seats, MG gave the ZS some bucket seats, which are comfortable to sit on through the ride. The rear seats seem to be larger and wider compared to other subcompact crossover seats in the market. The interior of the ZS is further highlighted by the infotainment system, which is equipped with an 8-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay, an obvious advantage for iOS users, with six speakers that create a 3D sound effect. Meanwhile, as you hop in on the EcoSport, the first thing you'd notice is that everything is black. This is probably why the insides of the EcoSport look modern. The seats and the steering wheel are wrapped in black leather, providing an elegant feel to it. The EcoSport comes with a spacious cabin as well, ensuring comfortable trips for both driver and passengers. Since this variant is top of the line, the infotainment comes with an 8-inch SYNC 3 touchscreen integrated with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Meanwhile, audio is enjoyable through 7 speakers. When it comes to safety and security, the ZS is equipped with a reverse camera, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, cornering brake control, electronic brake assist, hill start assist, tire pressure monitoring system, and traction control system. Meanwhile, the EcoSport comes with Ford's standard features such as anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, stability control, ISO fix, and six airbags. Those were the Ford EcoSport and MG ZS. Two compact SUVs that might make it difficult for you to decide on which one you like better. More about the automobile here in Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine, we have the 2020 GMC Shera Denali Carbon Pro Edition. Let's watch this. GMC is taking premium to the next level with expanded availability for its carbon fiber bed, 3.0 liter Duramax turbo diesel and 10-speed automatic transmission, plus additional technology like adaptive cruise control camera one to elevate the ownership experience in the 2020 Sierra 1500. The updates add to a robust portfolio of technologies that deliver an innovative and premium ownership experience. The GMC Sierra already features an innovative suite of towing technologies that enable an exceptional light-duty towing experience. For 2020, the Sierra 1500 will be available with the upgraded Pro-Grade Trailering System introduced earlier this year on the 2020 Sierra HD. The updated system brings more camera views and in-vehicle trailering app 3 enhancements designed to simplify and streamline the trailering process. The Pro-Grade Trailering System now features an available class-leading 15 unique camera views, including a segment-first transparent trailer view to help optimize the driver's view around the truck, and compatible trailers to provide added confidence when towing. New for 2020, the 10-speed automatic transmission is now offered with the 5.3-liter V8 with dynamic fuel management. The 5.3-liter V8 and 10-speed automatic pairing will be standard on the Sierra Denali and Sierra 84 and available in all four-wheel drive Sierras with the SLE trim level and above. The 10-speed automatic has more gears for more ratios, giving Sierra refined performance and outstanding shift quality. 
the previously announced available 3.0 liter Duramax inline six turbo diesel engine will pair with the 10 speed automatic as well, bringing class leading horsepower and torque figures. The 3.0 liter Duramax produces an SAE certified 277 horsepower and 460 pounds per feet of torque. Be it fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Auto Focus. Our special feature is next. The recently concluded 2019 Shanghai Auto Show has yet again put on the spotlight on various models from car makers and different manufacturers around the world. For our special feature, we have our focus on Volkswagen. The 18th Shanghai International Auto Show was held at the National Exhibition and Convention Center in Shanghai, China last April 18-25. to The first ever Shanghai Auto Exhibit was held in 1985 and it has been a highly anticipated event since then, happening every two years. This year's Shanghai International Auto Show was no different from the others that came before it. Car enthusiasts and global car brands alike rushed to Shanghai for a week of showcases and displays of the latest vehicles and innovations by giant auto nameplates. One of the participants in the exhibit is Volkswagen, a German car maker that has been around for years as well, constantly coming up with new quality products for their customers around the world. During the prestigious event, Volkswagen displayed its wide array of products including the all-new Polo, the new Lamando, the Beetle, the T-Rock R-Line, the next-generation Sagittar, the new Touareg, the Passat PHEV, and the Tiguan L PHEV among others. We're currently here in the Volkswagen display where we can see the different models that are currently being produced here in China across almost 23 plants located in China. Some of these products are actually available in the Philippine market now. Apart from the exciting displays, Volkswagen grabbed the opportunity to officially introduce the all-new ID Rooms. The sixth model in Volkswagen's ID lineup, as presented by Volkswagen, the ID Rooms is equipped with two electric motors that can continuously drive both axles with a system output of 225 kilowatts. Moreover, its style features the effortless charisma of an SUV with smart Volkswagen e-mobility design. The ID Rooms is also spacious with three rows of seats. 
Other key features of the ID rooms are the digital glass front panel with dashboard and steering wheel that floats in front of the driver as a visual display. It also comes with ID light. Interactive light zones provide passengers with information by intuitively perceptible lighting effects. Volkswagen says they have many more in store about the new car, and it will be officially released in the global market in 2021. Behind me is actually the ID Rooms, which is a concept car that is electric powered and showcases Volkswagen's emerging technology in the electric space. Apart from the display of its latest models and the launch of the all-new ID Rooms, Volkswagen took members of the Motoring Media on a Volkswagen plant tour. The tour showcased the intricate process of producing the vehicles as well as the details that go with it. The tour highlighted the number of advanced technologies that are being used through the process. That was our special feature on the participation of Volkswagen during the 2019 Shanghai Auto Show. We hope you enjoyed. And up next is another exciting feature on Autos of the World. This time around, the 2019 Mazda CX-30. Let's watch this. Mazda Motor Corporation recently made the world premiere of the second model in its new generation lineup, the Mazda CX-30 Compact Crossover SUV. As a new core model, the CX-30 will be rolled out to global markets, with sales starting in the UK later this year. The CX-30 is a new compact crossover that combines the bold proportions of an SUV with elegant styling that embodies Mazda's total design language. The development team hoped to create a car that would enrich customers by helping them and their loved ones make new and stimulating discoveries within their daily lives. Relaxed and user-friendly packaging and a cabin that comfortably seats four adults mean customers can easily enjoy trips to any destination with family and friends. Moreover, the CX-30 was designed to be an easy drive. The increased height over a passenger car provides excellent visibility and makes getting in and out a breeze, while the body size makes it easy to maneuver on any road and in any parking space. Basic performance attributes such as accelerating, turning, and braking have been dramatically enhanced. Mazda Sky Active Vehicle Architecture enables people to make the most of their natural sense of balance and the latest Sky Active engines, including Sky Active X, allows responsive control of vehicle speed in any driving situation. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive.
Suzuki. All new Eltiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new Eltiga. Debut. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back! We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review this week. The Hyundai Tucson retains its traditional look and style while also sporting a bit of changes and improvements here and there. In this car review, it's all about the latest generation model of this popular compact crossover and what makes it stand out among its competitors in the market. Watch this! Here we have the GLS variant. We'll start with the powertrain. Under the hood of the 2019 Hyundai Tucson is an R2.0 EVGT engine that's capable of giving out 185 PS of power and 42 Nm of torque. This engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission that sends all the power to the front wheels. This combination makes driving more dynamic and responsive at any RPM range. The suspension setup is equipped with McPherson strut type at the front and multi-link type at the rear. This setup ensures that the drive is comfortable enough even through road imperfections. Now let's talk about the design of the latest generation Tucson. When it arrived to the market, the first thing that made the public excited was its exterior. The Tucson's design and styling features a redefined fluidic Sculpture 2.0 design language. At a glance, the most noticeable change would be the fact that it comes with a bigger hexagonal chrome-plated grille. It is further framed by a set of high-tech headlamps. At the rear, there's not much change as the taillights have been retained, though the reflectors have been positioned higher. Aside from these, the Tucson gets to be a sight to behold on the road because of the 18-inch alloy wheels. While the enhancements in the exterior are not that major, you can see that Hyundai went all out with the interior. The dashboard looks a lot neater, probably because of the infotainment system is made to seem like it is floating. More on this later. The cabin is simple as well, plus the buttons and controls aren't confusing and hard to reach for. The center console comes with a storage box with armrest cover and cup holders. In addition, and this is important, the Tucson offers a lot of space inside. The seats are wrapped in fabric, making it comfortable to sit on. The driver's seat comes in 8-way and 2-way lumbar support. Meanwhile, the rear seats offer 60-40 split folding with center armrests and more cup holders. For added cargo space, you can just fold the back seats and you're ready to go. Now back to the infotainment system, which is the star feature in the Tucson's interior. As mentioned, it is positioned in a way that's easy to reach and navigate. It comes with a 7-inch touchscreen display that also works as a rear parking camera with sensors. It is equipped with 6 speakers and is available through Bluetooth, USB, and Oxygen connectivity. And speaking of technology, the Tucson comes with several advanced technological features that mostly focus on added convenience. For safety and security, the Tucson is equipped with dual airbags, an anti-lock braking system, with downhill brake control, and hill start assist control, among other features.
That was the 2019 Hyundai Tucson, a car that strives to be nothing but better for everyone who seeks adventure, our featured vehicle here on Car Review. And that's Autofocus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Butch Gamboa, we hope you have found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can also check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until the next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.